All right, let's see this baby in action. This is the photo booth. Let me just give you a rough uh, tour of it just so you understand what's going on with it. Uh, that's the camera inside. Okay, Nikon. That's a light. That light is uh, designed to make the pictures brighter and clearer. Uh, it's professional LED lighting. And then on the bottom is uh, a tablet PC. And on the tablet PC is the software required to run the photo booth. And then inside the photo booth is the printer. So everything is contained inside this one box as well as the power. I kind of just left the power sitting out like this. Uh, you want to make it nice and neat if you can. You'll kind of have the wire, but I just did this so you can see. Uh, it's all sitting on top of a little tripod stand as you can see here. Uh, when you set this up, everything needs to be sitting inside of this curtain enclosure. Uh, I left the back open just so I could stand like back up and stuff like that. But the whole thing needs to be inside of this enclosure. Okay, the enclosure is made up of stands. Okay, they're uh, they're base. It's a base, a pole, a pole on the top, and um, these curtains. So the curtain goes through the pole on the top. Each pole has three curtains, so you can get away with two curtains on the side and the back. You definitely want on the very back where people stand. You definitely want uh, three curtains because that makes it as dark as possible. So we're just going to open up the software. As you can see right here, it's called DSLR Booth. I can't even see. Here it is. DSLR Booth. Okay. Double click it. Software loads. Uh, it always says please connect the camera using USB, but it is connected. It takes a couple seconds to detect it, and there's the camera. Everything's turned on already. Uh, what you want to do is, I already set everything up ahead of time, so you don't have to worry about like setting this up at all. But um, some basic functions you, you might want to get into is the printer settings, if you want to make more than one print out. Right now I have it set to two. Okay, I'm going to reduce it to one. Apply, print. You hit apply, print. That that sets it to uh, sets the printer, and then also do the images. You might want to access the images if you want to reprint something. So maximize it, and it goes into full screen mode. Okay. Now there's no curtain behind me, but when you set this thing up, you want a curtain behind you as well. I did this so I can you know back up, and so you can see the whole unit running. So basically, the, the person walks in or the group of people and they press start and it starts Get ready. see here's picture number one boom and they pose it takes a picture Pro takes a couple seconds to process and there's the first picture right there one of four all right and we wait for the second picture okay smile four three two one I'll do another pose okay Here's the third picture. Hey! He's making a funny face, you know, everyone likes to make funny faces. Last one. Here's the final picture. Ah! Yay! Funny face. Okay. Now, once that's all complete, It'll create the printout image. Share your See? photos. There's a little printout image. And then automatically you get sent right to the printer, which is located in the side here. It takes a couple seconds for it to kick in. Now it's ready for the next person. Now here's something you gotta watch about the printer. It doesn't just print straight out. Okay, it does multiple layers. 
So it's going to go out, it's going to go in, it's going to go out, and it's going to go in. Don't pull it. Just let it complete the whole process. Watch, this is layer number one. It's the yellows. Then it pulls back in. It does the next layer. Here's the reds. Okay. And then it goes back in and does the next layer. It's called a ribbon printer. There are there's a ribbon inside of there, and there is paper inside of there. There there isn't there isn't ink cartridges. And then it does uh, two more final uh, two more final little printouts. It, it, this is the drying process here, the final stage. And there it is. It's complete. This is set to two by six. So you have to take a set of scissors and you cut it right in half to create the two by six. But before you do that, you need to rip off the perforation. See that? A little perforation on the bottom? You just rip it. Rip it right off and it creates a perfect little borderless picture for you. And then you cut them in half. Now sometimes they're going to want two copies, so you want to go back into the software. Now it's in full screen mode. Okay, so in order to get back into the software, there's two things you want to know. First thing is the triple click. This gets you out of full screen mode. This is like a little secret thing. You triple click in the bottom left hand corner. One, two, three. And it goes out of full screen mode. Okay, no one else will know that. It's, it's just for the software. The second thing is you saw, you saw the print settings which is you can increase it to one or two print settings. I recommend um, one, one printout, you hand one to the customer uh, and put one into the scrapbook. Um, so you want two, you can go to print settings and then you set it for two. If you want an extra printout, you can go right to images, you go to prints, and those are all the pictures that have been taken. There's the last one I was taking right here. If you want to, you can click it one time, make sure the little check mark is there in the corner, and then you just click the little print button, and a new one will come out of the printer. So you go back to the software, go back to full screen. All right, this, thing, this is ready to go. Now, when you're testing it, there's no reason to wait. The paper is extremely, extremely expensive. There's there's no reason to um to actually print out for testing. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to press the start button. And you can actually put your hand, just don't touch the lens, and you can adjust the lens to zoom in and out. You can you can adjust in and out, see? Until you get it just right. You don't you, you don't want to see the curtain's gonna be behind me, so you don't want to see over the curtain. You know, you want to see just over my head when it's set up. And you don't want to see over the curtain. You want to just see the top. You want to see just all black behind me. No, no, you don't want to see. You don't want to see that. Basically, you want to see that. So the subject will be here, and you don't see the top of the curtain. So you just want to mess with that lens until you get it just right. Now, when you're testing, what you can do, you look in this top little corner. There's a little X. You just press that, and it stops the process. You don't waste any paper. So you can play with that start. Do a couple tests. Hit that X a couple times until you get the camera just right. All right. So. Let me show you how to put this whole thing together. Obviously, you plug it in, the power. Okay, that, that course is hanging out at all times. All right, we're gonna turn it around. And this whole thing is made up of four components. See the little door? There's not very much in here. It looks like a lot, oh my God, can't believe this is so complex, it's not. There's, a, there's four pieces two USB cords and two power cords. That is all you have to plug in. You have the power cord for the uh, laptop or the uh, the tablet PC. Now the tablet PC goes in upside down. Okay, when you, when you install it into the unit here, you're gonna be seeing it upside down. Now the, uh, the power to the tablet is actually down there. So you do have to take the tablet out to power it on. There's no way around it, unfortunately. The USB, Ports are located on the bottom of the tablet, 
So that's why it goes in, in upside down. So when you, when you put it in upside down, it, it like rotates and the, the image is correct. Then you have the camera. Set to automatic mode. It's auto up there. And you just plug in the USB. So USB to the tablet. Then you have the printer. There's the power switch. You gotta hold it in for a couple seconds to power it up. USB to the tablet. And there's the power. There's one for the uh, printer, one for the camera. The, this is the printer right here. That's the camera right there. And then inside are these little lights. Okay, there's the little lights. There's these plugs to turn these lights on. Okay, I like to set it to one. You can do both, but the pictures come out perfect for indoor use when you just use the one ring. But you can if. Uh, for some reason you think it's a better idea to plug in the uh, second ring. So here it is right here. You can. You can plug in the second little ring of lights. Just plug it in like that. It turns on the second one, but it, it gets too bright when you do that. I just do the one outer ring and it's perfect. Now this camera's sitting on a little shelf, this little clear shelf here. As you'll notice, there's a little screw under there. That screw, you push the camera all the way to the edge and you just don't tighten the screw too much, just 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 a little bit, just just to, you don't have to make it that tight. Just put it on the camera, just slightly snug, you're, you know, you're not putting a wheel on a car. It's just uh, just enough to keep the camera from moving. And that's about it. The printer is actually velcroed in there, and there really won't be any reason for you to ever have to take it out. Uh, if you do, you're probably having a huge technical issue and uh, it's game over. So, the key is in the door here. There's, I would just, I put that big yellow cord on it so it doesn't get lost. I would just leave it in there while you're working. No reason, no one will see it, it'll be turned around. You know, why, why take it out, you just lose it. So, inside the printer are, uh, is a ribbon cartridge and paper. That's it. Okay, these, these are special... Uh, photo. This is special photo paper. This is not like your normal home type of printer. This is, this is specifically for uh, high-end 300 dpi pictures. It's a box. Okay, the box holds three things. Okay, it prints exactly 60 prints. Not one more, not one less. It's exactly 60 prints. Inside the box is a ribbon. And inside the box is also two paper refills. When you put in a new ribbon, it always goes with one paper refill. When that first round of paper runs out, you put in the second round of paper, that's all 60 prints. You're done. You know you're done. When, when all 60 are done, you grab the next box, open it up, replace the ribbon, one paper, when that run, paper runs out, put in the second paper, and you're done. You're ready for the next box. Uh, generally, it's like two boxes for an event, maybe three if a ton of people want to do it. Uh, to change it, there. this is the paper. This is what you'll be doing most often because you do twice as much as a ribbon. It's a little tray. Just press the little button right here You know, to eject it. Pull it out. You'll notice, like, uh, like here, the perforation. There's a wider perforation and a shorter perforation. Okay? The paper goes in upside down. Here's the instructions. You notice the uh, wider and the thinner perforation. The wider side goes on this side. <laughs> if you don't do it this way, then the logo doesn't fit correctly on the bottom. A little uh, monogram logo. So you want to make sure your paper goes upside down, logo up, that little Heidi logo. That's up, the bigger perforation on this side. And let me put this tray back in. There's a few paper, there's a little bit of paper left here. You're gonna get it with some paper left. You know, you don't have to change it right when you get there. You have to change it at some point in the middle of the whole thing. And here is the eject button for the ribbon. Okay? These ribbons are very uh, fragile, so be careful. Just press the uh, the button, it pops out, you push up on it, you pull out, and again, uh, here's the ribbon here. Heidi logo, little arrow. That's how it goes in, just like that. Exactly as you see here. Be real careful to slide that baby in there. All the way till it clicks. 
So it's a little door and it's ready to go. All right, when that runs out, you're gonna get a little uh, error message on the thing. The first error message you'll ever get is you run out of paper. Uh, you're actually, the first error message you're gonna get is your, your ribbon ran out because right now I'm on uh, a box on the second pack of paper on the previous box. So the first thing you'll always see is you need a new ribbon. Whenever you do a gig, you're gonna do like 10 pictures and time to change the ribbon. So then you're good for a while after that. So basically, when that error message comes up, just follow the directions, uh, change the ribbon, change the paper, do, just say okay to everything after you do those two steps, and uh, you'll be good to go. Uh, the other thing that you'll have to do as far as maintenance through the night, I mean, changing the paper takes a few, uh, you know under a minute. It's it's really easy uh, once you do it a couple times. Uh, the other thing that, that's going to run out is there's no way to plug in the camera for power. You, there, there's no uh, power plug for the camera. It runs on batteries. So you get two batteries. There's one in the camera right now. Of course, you're going to get them fully charged. And then there's a, another one sitting in the, in the camera case here. So that'll be fully charged, ready to go as well. Uh, at some point, you're going to get... Uh, an error message on the screen it's going to say something I can't even remember what it says it says something along the line of uh, shutter can't take pictures the the SD card did not run out of space the SD card can hold something like 15,000 pictures you're never going to get many the SD card never runs out the only thing that's going to happen is the battery is going to run out halfway through your, the thing you're going to have to go in you're going to have to take this screw off right here and then just replace the battery Okay, so when you put this thing together, you just put the camera in to the very edge of that shelf with the screw, USB to uh, tablet PC, USB to printer, make sure all your power is on, there's your power there, there's your power there. The uh, power button is, for the printer is located here, the power button for the uh, tablet PC is located down there, so you do have to pull it out. Let me show you, let me show you me pulling it out, okay. Pull the power off first. Always pull it. Don't over pull it by the wire. Always pull it by the the base. Real careful, like that. Pull it by the base. Real careful. Now this is and always pull, always take the light off too when you pull this tablet out. You only have to do this a single time, and it's just going to be to power it on. So. Um, I don't know if I can do this with one hand. Yeah, I can't really do it with one hand. Uh, basically, you just have to like carefully pull this up, and it bends just the slightest bit as you pull it out. So make sure all the wires are unplugged before you pull that tablet out. You know, when you, when you... so I'm gonna power this down. Let's print her down, okay? That's powered down. You gotta hold it in for a couple seconds. First thing I'm going to do is uh, take this camera off. I'm trying to do this with one hand on average. Try to do this with one hand. Yeah, do not lose this screw. I just dropped it. This screw is the only thing that holds this camera on there. Okay, so don't lose it. Make sure that make sure you have that baby on the bottom of the camera. Never put it on too tight. That will damage the camera. It will damage the photo booth. So that'll be sitting in the camera case with the lens on the front. So make sure that little screw is always on there. Don't ever take it off. Don't put it in your pocket. Just leave it on the camera. Don't have to put it tight in the camera when you put it in the camera case. So we're gonna put that. We're gonna put that uh, lens cap back on. That'll be sitting in there. There's an SD card, the extra battery. That's everything sort of you have in there. There's an SD card, the two batteries inside that case. It's a waterproof case. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna put the uh, camera on a stand here. So I can show you me putting this away. All right, this is sitting on a stand. Now, I'm gonna put all this stuff away down here.
there's this little piece of foam. When you ship it, when you, uh, when you transport this thing, just leave the USB cable sitting in there. Just leave everything in there. You can leave everything plugged in. Just, just unplug the uh, anything from the uh, tablet PC. Don't leave anything plugged in. Don't leave the lights plugged in. You can leave the power plugged in. That's fine. Leave the USBs just hanging in there. It's fine. It takes a little piece of foam and just sit it in there like that. So when you transport it around, it kind of keeps stuff from moving around. It's real gentle in there. Okay. Now this thing sits on top of this tripod. Okay. This is the part that's scary to me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut down windows as well. You want to shut down windows using the start button. Shut down. So shut down windows. And unplug it. This is scary. You need to be real careful here. Because if this thing is dropped on concrete or wood and it shatters, uh, I won't be able to replace it for a while. This, this came all the way from Canada. I could, have, I could not, possibly not have this thing for three months. Uh, this guy makes them one at a time. So be real careful when you pull this baby off. But sitting on top of the stand, put your arms around it, pick it up real gentle. Real gentle, take off the stand. Just sitting on top of the stand, there's like a little, uh, a little thing, a little hole you can stick it on like that. It's almost like a speaker for a DJ. It's the same thing. I'm going to show you how, how this thing's packed. Sorry, I'm, like, I'm screwing this thing onto the stand. There we go. All right. It sits in the bin, like that, that little bin right there, okay? You want to pick it up real gentle like I told you. You want to sit it face down into the bin like this. All right, real gentle, real gentle, right on the phone, face down. Take the key out, make sure it's locked. Always have the door locked, because you don't want to open it up and then like the door opens up on you. It's like, it's like a tackle box full of gear. You don't want to pick up the lid and all the tackle falls out. Make sure that thing is closed. Throw that key down here. And then you put, there's another piece of foam that goes right on top. Like this. And then you're going to have the, the uh, leftover boxes uh, of paper and ribbon. And that'll, that'll sit right on top there like that. I'll, I'll have like three there for you. And then you just close the lid. That's how it's transported inside this little bin. Pretty water resistant and it's very phoned up and safe. So just be real careful uh, when you pull this thing off the stand. Real careful. Real careful. All right, the tripod stand. Let me pull this back off the stand for one second. The tripod stand. Usually, I like it set to that second hole. If you have a lot of short people, uh, maybe you want to do it to the first hole, okay? But it, the uh, it sits right on top of that. Just you just loosen this here, and you transport it. Make sure that's loosened, and you just basically collapse it. All right, the um, the curtains. You, know, you fold them up nice, you know, they're black, so, you know, I was real careful not to touch my garage floor. My garage floor is very dusty, so you don't, you don't want to, like, you know, have these things uh, picking up dust. And, uh, obviously, after the gig, it doesn't matter so much, but before the gig, be real careful you put them up, don't touch the floor. You don't want lint all over them and dust. You know, you want, basically, your background is going to be this. Okay, you're going to make it a full enclosure. You're just going to leave it at the smallest setting. There's a... These, these little poles on top are expandable, so you can make them longer and longer and longer, but uh, it's really just best uh, at the smallest setting. Just make one small square all the way around, all four, all the way around the base to the pole, and then you know, it gets all folded up and put inside of this bin here. You're also going to have a bin of, uh, of props. You got all kinds of stuff in our hats and little frames. And, Tons of goofy, goofy little things. 
And uh, that's basically it. So uh, every most of everything is inside the uh, photo booth when you get there. Just power it up. Power up the power up the printer and the camera first, and then once you power up the camera and printer, you slide the uh, tablet PC into the photo booth upside down, and you know you power that up as well before you put it into the photo booth because you can't power it up while it's in the photo booth because the, the power button's like uh, hidden. So uh, that is about it. Uh, I think I covered everything. All right, good luck.